On this video, we're going to talk about how to properly concentrate disinfectant because as you know, if it's not enough to concentrate in, it's not gonna work and if it's too much, you're just wasting your money. So we want you to do it properly. And one of the things that you have to do is practice doing it properly. Get out all the implements you need, the measuring implements, the container you're gonna use. And so I brought along a friend today and this is Alex. Alex is going to um, demonstrate doing um, a jar and I'm going to demonstrate doing it in a tub format and we're going to talk about in another video why that's important to know which one to use. So when we're getting ready to mix our concentrate obviously you have to have your concentrate and you have to have your container. Um, the, if you were to read the label which you, if you watched our previous video you know that the label says it's two ounces of concentrate in 32 ounces of water. I'll do that math for you. 32 ounces of water is four cups. You can see that on this measurement cup I'm not close enough to see that but um, it would be four cups of water. So I'm going to get you going on filling up your jar with four cups of water. I have already put water in the tub, so I'm not even going to turn this tub over. I have put eight cups of water in my tub because obviously in this tub, if I only put four cups of water, I wouldn't have any um, depth to put anything in it because this tub is so much bigger. Um, when you pick a tub, I, my advice to you is that the first time that you mix it, uh, you figure out how deep you want it. So maybe you want to put, instead of eight cups, maybe you want to put 12 cups in, right? Maybe that's the, the measurement that's right for what you're trying to put in here. If I were putting round brushes, I obviously would need more water in here. And then make a line and say, take a Sharpie out, make a line and say, this is how high I want to fill this with water. And then you can put your concentrate in. Then you don't have to measure with a measuring cup every single time, right? So since my container's bigger, I have a measuring cup. Her container smaller, she has a tablespoon, right? So we said it was two ounces into 32 ounces. I'll do that math for you too. Two ounces is either four tablespoons. So she's gonna put four tablespoons of disinfectant in hers. And mine would be, um, I have, since I have double, I'm gonna put eight tablespoons in mine. And four tablespoons is a quarter of a cup. So I'm gonna put two quarters of a cup in mine. All right, so you'll be careful when you're pouring this. Um, you, you want to make sure that you are pouring it slowly and get your disinfectant in there. The fun thing with the jar is you can take the little uh, plunger and go up and down and make it all um, nice and mixed. I've seen lots of videos where people are doing that on Instagram where they're mixing their barberside. And now my advice also is on this measuring utensil, keep it near your concentrate and write on it. Barbicide. That's what you're always going to be using it for. Some states actually require you to have a measuring utensil and have it labeled as the measuring utensil you're using for your disinfectant. Look at that beautiful blue water. <laughs> you are ready to go. Yes. You are ready to go out and take on the world. All right, two ounces and 32 ounces. The temperature of the water doesn't really matter. Um, we say on the label cold water, it causes less foam. Um, and certainly if you were doing it in something like a pedicure bowl where it's gonna get moved around, don't want that foam. Um, but now we're ready to go.